Virgo, welcome to your intuitive reading for the last week of April. A big thank you. Six of Swords. Mm, thinking of going somewhere or moving away from the situation. Big thank you to all my new subscribers. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for helping my channel to grow. Big thanks for all your views, comments, likes. That helps me so much. I'm just so grateful. I love you all so much. All right. So it's an intuitive reading. I don't have one spread. I'm going to try and read for as many of you as I can by doing lots of spreads and seeing what comes out with the energy of Virgo. So here we have the Knight of Cups, an offering of emotional contentment somehow by somebody. Someone coming in and offering you love. Wow, a big love too, nurturing, caring love to Virgo. This is for Virgo. Knight of Cups with the Queen of Cups energy. Beautiful. What else? Page of Swords. They've been watching you for a while. Okay. Why have they been watching Virgo? Obviously, they feel so much for you, Virgo. Why have they been watching Virgo? Because they've got so much stability to offer you. They want to be in your life for a really long time. They're not mucking around either. It's a very genuine offer of love not, and passion. You, or is this two people that you're thinking of? Two people. Is this two people or one person? Is this person possibly, could it be an offering of love and offering of passion? King of Swords, okay, so good vocals, good communication, honest communication, and no, it's only one person, okay, and you're really watching you, look at how, look at how he's watching her, look at that, she's just doing her own thing, taking care of the falcon, and he's really content going, ooh, look at that. She's so attractive. All right, so someone's either watching you or you're watching someone. All right, tell me more about this. And it's competition. That's why there's two knights. Okay, they're competing against you. Well, you're beautiful. And they miss you and they're thinking about you so much. And they could be watching you from afar. Could be even stalking okay on social media competing writing oh you look so beautiful or attractive today so you've got a choice okay thank you spirit that's all i wanted to know let's get to it and see more about this choice between the knight of cups and the knight of wands for virgo and a blessing it's like wow i'm famous everyone likes me it's a very healing energy they really want to take care of you too. Mm, you're standing your ground. You're taking care of number one. You're quite happy being independent and on your own, taking care of yourself. And when you get there, they're kind of like, wow, they're, they're he or she is. Like looking beautiful as always, you know, and they're writing to you saying, hey, you're beautiful or you're gorgeous or you're handsome. And you're feeling like pretty much like a star like you're feeling good about who you are and what you're doing and you're standing your ground you're saying no I don't I probably don't really want to go out and get get committed to anyone I'm quite happy being on my own and two of pentacles is maybe you've met someone that's changing your mind about that you've met someone that's you know made you think maybe it is time to to settle down and to um to to be with someone in a committed committed situation let's see why the two of pentacles okay spirit has been guiding me to change my decks a fair bit today to go from one deck to another so i'm just being an instrument all right, two of pentacles, two of pentacles. Bear with me, I'm going to disappear for two seconds.
so sorry about that. Alright, so two of pentacles for my Virgos. Justice. Two of pentacles for justice. And, okay, so what you feel is right. Oh, and being on your own. Being on your own, taking your sweet time about it, and doing what feels right for you. Feeling good about yourself. Being just like not stressing out about how other people feel right now. You just need to take care of you. All right, and you feel that that is right for you. You feel okay about taking care of number one. You know, you six of pentacles. It's like you're sharing yourself with everyone. It's just like you just want to hang out and be social. Like you don't really feel like tying yourself down to one person and being tied up. You know, you, you, okay, so someone has been waiting for you or maybe the person that you have been waiting for hasn't noticed you yet, hasn't, hasn't realised that see what's coming up you're happy being on your own because you've got the feels and the passion and and possibly making a choice and you're holding on to that because you want them for the long long haul you want someone for the long haul you you've been waiting for someone for a while holding on to them okay and you've got the big feels the king feels like the major big big shot feels for someone and you're waiting for them you know you're hanging on with the soulmate connection for that one person and you possibly you've got eight of wands twice so it's probably that you're messaging them and you're feeling them on many levels okay so let's see a little bit more about this spread shall we like I said at the start of the video, I'm trying to do as many intuitive reads as possible because I believe the energy is all intertwined with Virgo. All right, Spirit is guiding me to use my energy oracle. All right, so let's see a little bit more about Virgo in the last week of April. All right, last week of April for Virgo. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Anxiety about? What does Virgo have anxiety about? All tied up, like the Eight of, eight of Swords came out before. Anxiety about being all tied up. Okay, and you've got the feels for someone. Healer, you need to heal yourself from that situation. So you can move on with someone else possibly. All right, let's clarify. What am I going to use, Spirit? Anxiety about? What does Virgo have anxiety about? At the last week of April, what is their anxiety about for Virgo? Stand your ground. Standing your ground makes you feel anxious. Okay, you had that before, standing your ground. All right, and then all tied up came up. So all tied up with what is Virgo all tied up with? What is Virgo all tied up with? Let's see. Sacrifice, crown chakra. It's like you already know that you've been giving and giving and giving. All tied up with what? Is that you're under contract to keep giving? Sacrifice again. So... You're sacrificing yourself. You've tied up. You've tied yourself up to a situation that puts you under stress and anxiety. Stand your ground. All tied up. Yeah. Obstacles and challenges. Okay, so you need to heal. You need to remove these obstacles and challenges before you can move on. What will happen once they remove these obstacles and challenges? Spirit? What will happen? Damn it, why does it keep falling? Okay. I'm not going to take these cards. 
what's going to happen once the obstacles and challenges get healed to move out of the way. Trapped in fear. Damn. It's Eight of Swords again. So you're feeling really trapped. You can't move forward for some reason. Why are they trapped in fear? Why is Virgo trapped in fear? Why is Virgo trapped? Ace of Cups, because you're in love. And why can't they show this love? Why is that trapping them? Spirit, I wanted to get to a small offering of love and you're holding it secret. You're not saying anything to anyone. That's what came out before with the lovers, remember? And then it said that you're holding on and you're single, like someone very attractive. That is how they're both holding something. He's holding the falcon and he's holding the cup with the fish. It's like you both have pets. Maybe one's got fish and the other one has birds. But there is something, okay? Offering of emotion, offering of stability, okay? One may be a, a earth sign, which is you, Virgo. And then one might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the Pisces card and there's a lot of emotion here too. All right, so this person is offering a lot of emotion to you and you're offering a lot of stability. So what is the situation with this? What is this? And they've both got hats on. One is thinking with passion and um, kind of creativity. And the other one's just thinking pure emotion. Tell me more about this couple. Very attracted to each other. This water sign is very attracted to the earth sign and the soulmate connection can't happen because all right spirit just told me to get my gilded tarot why can't the soulmate connection happen oh it's like so much energy everything is just flowing ten of wands it's a big burden why is it a big burden, Spirit? Why is this soulmate connection a big burden? Oh, because you can't come in. Maybe you're not able to reach each other. You can't approach each other. There is something stopping you from saying something. I, why? Why can't you come in? Why can't you, you Virgo approach the person? Because it's a secret. This person doesn't know how you feel. Alright, tell me more about this. Spirit. Tell me more about this love situation with Virgo. Standing your ground and defeating the situation. You're just ready to do whatever it takes to get this person to notice you. The star and you can't heal the situation why can't you heal the situation cards are misbehaving I feel that it's just so stressful I feel that you feel that you're out of this person's league or you're mismatched in some way and you feel that you would like to approach them but you, you can't you can't approach them I want to find out why why can't Virgo approach this per the person that they are feeling so much for? Okay, which one spirit? Which one is spiritual stream? Which one spirit? Okay, right away it's done. Why? I was going to say, why can't Virgo approach the person that they like? But Spirit corrected me. Communication. Why communication? Again, quite happy being on your own. Wanting to offer a passionate new beginning, but you know, you feel somehow that it's not really what you want. You're just exploring other options. The person ended up with you or you ended up with them 
Oh, and the love can't be expressed. Physical love can't come through. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So the person is gone, manifested a new beginning somewhere else. I see. So they've begun a new beginning somewhere else, so you can't come in. It's like they've just moved on, but you still think about them, you still love them. I see now. Makes sense. And there might have been a lot of conflict, but you still miss them so much. It's like you wish it didn't happen like that. Why was the conflict there? Was it conflict or competition? Okay, so so was it friendly banter or was it competition? Competing for your attention, choices. So you had a choice and you made the wrong choice and now you're stuck and you kind of miss the person that you didn't choose. You want to make a, a little offer of love. There it is. If the Nine of Pentacles comes out again, I'll be like, wow. <clears throat> King of Swords. So the Tarot is saying... Approach this person and tell them honestly, look, I do still care very deeply for you and I would like to make a new beginning with you uh, and, you know, maybe meet them for a coffee. Uh, even though they've made a new beginning, people are flexible. They're workable. You can work and you need to raise awareness to how you're feeling because let's see what they're going to, how are they going to respond to you. They might need time to think about it. If the Four of Swords comes out, we'll know that for sure. Why the Hermit wants the judgments? The Knight of Wands, they might just start getting interested, thinking about you every now and then, messaging you. Why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords? They'll be thinking about you. Okay, they're probably already thinking about you. Stand your ground. Explain to them that you were defeated. All right. Maybe they chose somebody else, and then it's like you were heartbroken, and you need to tell them, "Look, I, I really care about you. You know, I would like to take you out. I think I can make you happy. See what they say. They might be open to it. Okay. See what they say." Tell me more about Virgo in the last week of April. I'm trying to say as many stories as I can and I know something will resonate for everyone. Can you believe this? Knight of Cups again. Is that unbelievable? Was it you or was it Leo that had Knight of Cups as the first card? Beautiful celebration. Could be celebration or could be a party, a social gathering where you can have this opportunity to make this offer. New beginning. My little cat, <laughs> Heidi. She wants some wine. No, Heidi. She likes my box. <laughs> She's my little little light. Cheeky baby. No, cheeky baby. Sorrow. Oh, okay. You're gonna you miss this person so much. So why why the fire? Because yeah, this person could be a Pisces. What a sign the world. Oh, they're going away. You're going to hear, oh, literally, they're moving away, possibly, or the end of a cycle. They're going, moving, and um, that's why you feel the sorrow. They've gone somewhere. Maybe they've moved, uh, or maybe something happened. Why? Why? And you're still holding on to them, Four of Pentacles again. Why the sorrow? Why the sorrow after this offer of love for Virgo? Why the sorrow? 
someone else then you found out they've got somebody else Knight, a king of wands I was going to say knight of wands king of wands Heidi is in my box <laughs> what a cutie pie Heidi Yes, and when they do return, you're celebrating them. It's like, oh wow, they're back. But it's like you can't. It, it's like you can't articulate your thoughts. You can't express yourself enough. It's like you just want to talk to them, and you're so excited to see them. But it's like you can't get the words out, and they're so attractive, and you feel like, oh my god, I can't even speak to them, because you feel this attraction. You feel this spiritual, beautiful connection to them, like. Your heart chakras are drawn to each other. Okay, so why the world? Why the world? Why the world? Oh, Virgo. Ooh, two. Messages and competition. So it could be that when they do come, it's like, oh, wow, they're here. And then when they go, it's like messaging and then, you're competing for their um, attention. It's like, look at me, but they're just so busy doing life and it's giving you so much anxiety. Okay. Oh, two again. Standing your ground. The tarot is saying offer them stability. Tell them what you can offer them, okay, that you represent something stable and long-lasting. Two wanted to come out again that you're holding on to them and that you would like to make a new beginning with them. Why the King of Wands then with the sorrow? Why the King of Wands then? Why the King of Wands? It's called Virgo. Why the King of Wands? Burden and feeling left out in the cold. It's a burden. Oh, okay. The burden. Why the burden? Maybe you work with them, you can't, you feel like they can't, they, you feel confused because one minute they're interested, next minute they're not and they don't seem to be offering their love to you and you, you think, well, one minute you're offering your love, next minute I'm, you know, neglected. Why are you giving me, you know, different ideas, different thoughts, like one minute you say this, next minute you say that, and it's like you need to communicate that, uh, you need to articulate yourself properly and say how you're feeling, to tell them, look, you know, one minute you say this, next minute you say that, I'm so happy to see you, but then it's like you're, you're off doing your own thing, and I, I don't see you again for a long time. I need you to tell me where I stand. Who am I to you? And how do you feel about me? Do you feel this connection? Obviously you do because you've got the two of cups. So they do feel it. But they're just conflicted as well, just as you are. Tell me more about this situation with Virgo and the spirit. Queen of Wands. Okay, so they do find you very attractive and they... They're taking so long to approach you. It just seems like you've been waiting forever, but you've got that passion within you, that chaos, that busyness, not bad chaos. Chaos in the way like, let's get moving, let's get this done. I really want to. You're holding on to a new beginning and your feelings, but you need a change. You need things to start changing, otherwise you can't keep going you need them to make their choice is it you or is what is it who is it all right let's see what the psychic tarot have to say about this why the two of swords what's the choice for Virgo what's the choice for Virgo healing the heart it's all about healing the heart Virgo you need to heal the past with this person Alright, mental conflict, material harvest, foundation and achievements, light and harmony, beautiful, love it, I love it. Okay, so really, 
it's about mental conflict to make that new beginning okay to start building a foundation with this person it's about illuminating how you feel about them and then that's when harmony can start that's when you can make that beautiful beautiful connection real okay it is real but i mean like so that you're both aware of how you feel about each other and then you can start all right so all it is is about you coming forward and being honest is that right spirit yes it is it's about being prosperous in in every way possible with this person and just going forward and moving ahead I'll get some mermaid cards for you, Virgo, and see what the mermaids have to say about this situation at the end of April, okay? At the end of April, Virgo at the end of April, tell me more about Virgo at the end of April. That's right, coming go, allowing a higher voice. So basically it's a matter of flowing allowing just letting things happen honoring the masculine my goodness that card's been coming out a lot today honoring the mask actually for a couple of weeks there, it's been coming out a lot telepathy being the two of cups visions this is like the high priestess contramancy that's like me using a tool to open up my third eye so i can and access spirit in Rama and that's about traveling that's like the three of wands yearning missing somebody and the present when they are with you you're being present with them and just being honest and open and just allowing them to speak and listening and you speaking and for them to listen to you as well okay Virgo I believe this love is a beautiful love it's about you manifesting this is like the magician manifesting what your heart's desire is and the way you can do that is by being open and honest about it and letting the person know this is how you feel thank you again for all your likes subscribes shares and comments stay in peace light and love bye for now